I'm Jeremy Bolton. I mix monitors for Axl Rose. Uh, we're sitting here stage left on stage at the Guns N' Roses concert in Inglewood, California at the Forum on our last show of the tour of this year. I got introduced to Jerry Harvey Audio and they outperformed uh, anything I'd ever heard. They're called Lola's, yeah. They sound really great. They just, um, they just make a guitar sound more like a guitar. In-ears are a brand new thing to me. They've, they've paid personal attention to Slash and I just because we've never used in-ears before and they wanted to make the experience uh, a good first impression. When we got in the first week of January and tried the in-ears, I had all the low end. I had like a drum kit, a real drum kit. And my bass had a lot of growl and, and depth and grit. And I have slash guitar, exact volume I need in, in my left ear. And I have, you know, Richard's guitar where I need him in my right and I have the drums all around. And it's made this tour so much easier. I never thought I'd say that at the beginning of this. But I think um, the company, Jerry Harvey's company, they, they really um, went out of their way, especially for Slash and I, to make it a good experience. Using the JH in-ears, I feel like um, it brought me to a new level in terms of what I was able to do to play with my own sound and my own performance. Slash is over the moon with his Lola. Slash absolutely adores him. It was, uh, he was never really happy with his guitar tone before. And for guitarists that is used to listening to cabinets and wedges, it's been amazing. When Jerry started his own company and we went to uh, JH, these are the best I've ever used. I've had probably a dozen pair of ears, um, you know, over that period of time. And these are far superior to anything else that I've used. We always seem to try everything. And you know, it's always back to JH. I even have the JH logo on my ears. <laughs> I don't have to play as hard with the JH, you know, with my in-ear monitors. I don't have to play as hard. I can hear um, it be more subtle. All the subtleties comes through, you know, as opposed to playing live and all the symbols and everything going on. You can really pinpoint, you know, on music, you know, focusing on certain instruments um, with the in-ear monitors. Myself and the audio team, we chose the Roxanne's for Axel. There's no other product on the planet that's better than Jerry's product. It just, uh, JH Audio makes by far the, the, the greatest in-ear monitor ever, ever made. I mean, bar none, there's, there's not a company that even comes close to it. I'm, I'm behind a lot of the amps and uh, I can hear whatever, I, you know, you, I didn't realize you can get your own like personal mix. That's incredible. It's, it's, there's nothing like it actually. When I work for people that don't use JH Audio, I obnoxiously promote JH Audio uh, because it is a superior uh, product. It's just, it's the best in the market. Uh, I haven't heard anything better. But when you go to a proper molded custom set of in ears, um, the JH ones are just so crisp that you hear things in songs that you'd never heard before. It widens it up and makes it so much deeper. I push them really hard. Yeah, really, really, now we're on the edge. I could really hear what I was doing and I had a, a mix that was consistent all around, you know, especially these huge stages that we're playing. And so, uh, you know, I started working with it. You can crank these things. You can just keep, send so much level to these rock stands and they maintain uh, consistency and they just keep getting louder and louder and louder, which in the modern world is a really good thing to have. If you can get loud and loud and loud, that's cool. <laughs> you know? I don't think I would ever use anything other than JH. They have a, the full range of everything you need. After a 30 year career or more of having no in-ears, it's a long time of doing what I do a certain way. And to change that, I'm a JH guy when it comes to in-ears. I mean, I wouldn't go anyplace else. I guess I might be that guy who carries his in-ears around with him. You know? <laughs> we used to make fun of those guys, but I guess I'm one of those guys.